Hey everybody, it's OS11, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Awakening. Last time we took on another paralog. This time we have a couple conversations with three, not many, just two. <clears throat> oh, you. Indeed. Hello, Severa. <sighs> Can I help you? <laughs> oh, just remembering the last procurement run had me as it had me exhausted all over again. <sighs> I'll express a similar frustration. It's not almost impossible to handle expenses with you at the helm. What? And just what is that supposed to mean? Precisely what it sounds like. Every time you come back with desserts or silly baubles, I can make cuts elsewhere. Ridiculous. Oh, could you try sounding more, a little more condescending? You know, you're no joy to shop with either, you know. Every time you open your mouth, budget this or unnecessary that. Shopping should be on, should be an adventure, not some boring old list. You have to open up new discoveries, but where the moment, moment takes you and stuff. <sighs> We are procuring supplies for an army, not impulse shopping for our own amusement. Any complaints? I know that, but this army has needs, and one of those needs is to have a little fun. Gods, we'll kill you all listen to me maybe once. Simply put. If you're asking me to say that wasting our spent resources is a good idea, I won't. You joke about what what will or won't kill me, but it's a question I consider every day. We're at war, Savara. There is no shortage of things that could kill us. The only thing keeping us alive is prudent and careful planning. In that situation, exactly why I say right, we need a little joy in our lives. Walking around with a buck abacus all day isn't what I'm considering good for morale. No. Careful spending isn't going to make anyone's life easier either. Fine. Okay, we're getting nowhere. Mostly because someone's being a jerk. So fine. Buy a hard tack, hard tack and stale bread until the cows come home. I'm done shopping with you, Mister. <laughs> You're resigning from your procurement runs. I gladly accept. It was up to me, I'm taking you off the project group today. Yeah, and... Oh no, I'm quitting before you. I'm just shopping on my own. Thank you. You're on your own, cheapskate. Oh, hey! Hey, Olivia, you had, you had to finish telling that, that story you were telling. <laughs> I didn't realize that you liked it so much. Right. Are you kidding? I was totally into it. Besides, when you're, when you're telling it, you really look like you're enjoying yourself. Your enthusiasm is infectious. Yes. It's the performer's blood in me. I suppose I simply love having a rapt audience. There's nothing better than putting a smile on someone's face. Hmm? You get a kick out of making other people happy? Man, you're awesome. I appreciate well, it. Really? Wow, no one has ever... Anyway, you wanted to hear the rest of the story, right? I'm going to... I'll keep going, but you have to promise me something. If, if anything scares you, stop me right away. Huh? But then I won't know how it. Oh. If you don't, I can offer no assurances about what will happen in the night. There, I have warned you once. I will say no more on the subject. What? <laughs> wait, wait, is that, is that. Is the story that scary? Come on, really? Well. Huh. Boo! Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, Reckon. I was just saying a mood. It's a little trick that Con Bazio taught me. You like it? Reckon, what's wrong? You're shaking like a leaf. Oh, come on! It's just, it's just... It's so scary. I don't know if... Oh, gosh. Look at me. <laughs> oh, man. You really freaked me out there, huh? <laughs> I really did get you, didn't I? You were terrified. Anyway, shall we get on with the story? We left off at the Haunted Castle. Right. Yep, I can't wait. Go on, get to it. You're a real great entertainer, Olivia. Alright, so with that, we'll move on to the next chapter of the actual story. Chapter 15, Smoldering Resistance. And now chapter 12 in this one. At last, Balm Harbor. It appears well fortified. Prepare the troops. Well, huh? What's that? Right. An obligation. The woman, the bomb, these dogs are running her down. <clears throat> Any enemies of theirs is a friend of ours. Come on. Okay, we have 13 for this one. I've confirmed that. Okay. Not taking any of them. The only kids I have any interest in using are... Morgan, Cynthia, and Lucina. I think they're the only ones I actually care to use. Um, let's see here. So we have seven. 
We'll take Nelly just because she's doing really well for the team. Cordelia, I like pairing her up with Savannah because they work really well together. Um, let's see. Frederick, because it's always good to have Frederick around. Four more. Um. about Varian Sully, as usual, and then I'm thinking. I like Lissa because we haven't, we haven't had her be a cleric in a while. And. Just because I'm thinking we'll have six pairs and one person on their own. I'm not sure what that is. Frederick, I know he might be the one to send on their own, to be honest. Unless I just decided to bring Dias around. We'll bring Tharja, she's always pretty helpful. We'll bring Tharja, she's pretty helpful to have around. Okay, so we're all right here. I'm gonna pair myself up with Morgan. I need to move myself up at least one. Lissa will need to take the back. I'll pair Savara and Cordelia up and then switch them around. Um, Brett, these two will pair up as usual. Pair Lucina with Krom. And that just means that Noe, Lissa, and Tharja are going to go on their own. I don't look at that. Who is that? The Elysian League. So they finally landed. Over here! Over here! We have, we have a corner. Confound these wretched Imperials. Don't let her get away! Right. Our first priority is to hurry and save that woman. Okay. Possibly she's also visiting home to say people there. We're on sand, so yeah. This is where it's hard for um, people who aren't Pegasus Knights to move, which is a little annoying. Get myself up with Morgan. These two up. These two up. To make sure you're going to have bows, spear, sword, axe, spear, lance, or thunder. Alright, so yeah, now that we're back in the story missions, this is where I'll actually be watching the fights go down, just to make sure that things go my way. A little worried, to be honest. Of course, with Morgan on our side, not much can be done. I don't worry as much with Morgan on our side, because she can do that. She's our strongest team member at this point, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, with a 202 rating, she is the strongest we have. Well, this is not even a required move, buddy. Good. Crit, that was just you showing off, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna hammer out of it again. I didn't mean to skip that, I'm sorry. I was thinking about it. Say right. 
not as similar to my mother's. My mother's name is Sarah. Just for context. Somebody's doing for me. I need to get it back to my other one. This is somewhere defending yourself. Frederick. I was hoping you'd help there, buddy. Here we go. I'm watching. I made a mistake to do that, but it worked. Put it away a little bit. This is all like good. Because I bought this bow off stream. I did a little bit of shopping off stream because we had like 80,000 or something to spend. So I just went ahead and splurged a little bit in the game to get good stuff. Surely we're weakening now. Oh my god, what was that? That's my girl, I suppose. That's a bit scary. So I need to do anything for less of there. We'll, he's gonna live. We got it. Don't worry. He's got to live. If I can get less up there, that'd be great, but I can't. That's unfortunate. Thank you guys are just, you know, you're, you're stepping up and you're getting knocked down. That's all there is to it. Really hoping you jump in there. Well, Sarah, I might not make it because now uh, she's surrounded once again, and I don't think I can take out both. I won't be able to take out both of them in time. I won't be able to get anyone up there unless Morgan can make it up there. But she might be able to. So that means if that happens, I'm going to have to restart the episode. Or not restart the episode, restart the game. Because I don't want to miss out on getting her because, you know, I am. Yeah. Oh my god, just slowly but surely watching them all do this. Like, do their attacks and just go. It's getting really annoying. Oh, hey, she can heal herself. Good. Together. Yep. Excuse me. no standing against the Emperor. All who question him are slain on spot. I'm a refugee here. The bastard raised my entire village just for sport. If you truly mean to fight him, I have you take this. 
music to help me in the comments in the car. Away from her. This is why we've been powering Noia. She's our secret weapon. I'd say more. I always said Mario was our secret weapon, but really, we used more than so much. She became a nice secret weapon. Since they don't have a support with one another, which is unfortunate. Doesn't mean I can't pair them up. I think, because we won't have any, like, marriage support that will open into Carillon. We only have two of those left, the marriage-related ones. Um, and that would be for... I can't remember her name right now. Olivia? The dancer. And I'm sure so, for those two. Um, I haven't figured out who I'm pairing share show with yet. I don't have a reason to even worry about it, really. But yeah, this is going to be the first time I report to store this is back to back. It's almost midnight, so, and I've got to make that drive tomorrow to go look for those games and stuff for future Let's Play purposes. Like, I, I'm finally going to pick up one of the games for what is my, not my next Let's Play, but Let's Play after me, so two Let's Plays away. Here we go, now we're finally stepping in. Savara, I need your help. Savara, you didn't really help. You tried, but there's no help at all. There we go, brave bow. Get him, boy. Whoa, that bow wants an attack four times. I just noticed that. Get him, Tarja. Long live the Emperor. Death to all who oppose him. Wait a minute, don't tell me this is gonna end this game. Only we gotta wipe all the names, because otherwise I'm gonna be very upset. I didn't read that out in the back. I didn't read that because I'm nervous that uh, it's about the animation, I'm gonna have to replay it. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's gonna make us kill everything. That's what I was hoping for. Yep. 
This is taking a while. There's no one's noticed yet. Watch out. Yeah, Watch out. Whoa, she got an extra attack in. Nice. Good kid. It's okay, she's gonna be safe next turn. I'm gonna make sure she's safe my next chance. And then she's gonna straight up heal herself, which is fine, but you know. Cool, I'm just making sure Cordelia gets that extra experience in there. Making sure I'm making sure we're not on any of the enemy panels yet because I don't want to activate the final fights yet. Even though I could take out all of them except for one right now. I'm taking out one of them right now, but I'm not going to the last two yet because I want to get one of all the prizes I can from villages and then I want to also see if I can recruit this kid. Prince Prom, if you let see Lee, you have my gratitude. You know of our cause? Hmm. Of course. I would speak with you more, but first, perhaps. Uh, yes, time enough for that once the fighting is finished. Will she join the team? No weapon. Take a log. With a sword. Yes, helping Sarai, are you good? Good, we have such brave men in these times. Here and now, sell this at the market and use the funds to arm your forces. Well, oh well, you don't look imperial, do you? Care for a wee bit of gossip? I'm here to tell of resistance movements all across the continent. Each one striving to end wall hordes of cruel tyranny. tyranny. But they're divided, scattered. They say a beautiful swords for swords mistress is trying to unite them, poor Blimey. Now, I've never ever seen this lady, but I wish to help her all the same. If you find her, ask her she read ask that she read this. It'll make her even keener with the blade. I need to use those items. I've had them for a while, but I've not used them. Just look hard to that cheap experience there. Make a mistake. Come on. Now we can make it out of the door. Yes, you can. Boom! We're gonna hit all the stops. I'm stuck right in there. The pocket rise here is everywhere. Yes, what we're using for now. I'm gonna take this. My turn. And I'll just crack my knuckles over here, stretch a little bit. Yeah, Morgan, finish it. Boom! Nicely done. Switch camera angles for some reason. My gratitude. Mercy, friends. The tales of your strength need no exaggeration. I'm called Serai, and I fight with the resistance. What? So this is an organization, organized resistance? Right. I, of sorts, several groups formed to seek liberty from the states of your Vaughn. The Emperor had stamped out all this. All the centers. Aye. We tries, but we resist. I didn't see that. Whoops. We strike hard and then vanish again into the night. We strike hard in the Edinburgh Valley. Even now, rebels ride to the banner of the dynasty across the continent. United. We Pose a, vi a viable threat to Wallhart. And so, 
For some time, I have struggled to bring this together. What's stopping you? Greed, jealousy, sloth, all the old weaknesses of men. The dynasties all would have freedom, but on their own terms. Some refuse to take arms, unless their territory is, in threat is threatened. Others thrive on the conqueror's heels and will not join unless there's a profit in it. Liberty is a fine word, eh? Not, not always. Enough to ruse men from foolishness. Oh my. I take it you're looking for a more convincing argument, then? Right. Just so. Although my efforts thus far haven't been a major success. I fear my I fear men mistrust me because my brother fights for Walhart. Why does he support the Empire? <sighs> would that would that I knew, good sir? And face it, was say was a good man once, but he is my brother no more. If we don't meet on the battlefield, I will cut him down the same as any other Imperial. Walhart is said to command a million men now, perhaps more. Sooner or later, he will stamp out the resistance entirely if we do not unite. What? Um, Krom, did she just, like, say he has a million soldiers? Aye. Huh. And what are one million men against the OC's dog of war? You stop a thousand of them with their ships, did you not? You dare, your daring strategy has awoken and inspired people all across the realm. Together, I know we can unite the resistance and break Walhart's grip. Help me, Prince Krom, I beg of you. Lord. Lord. This is no easy thing, but this is no easy thing you ask of me. I have my own causes. Call them to save and the future to win. Father. I know a great battle has been foretold, but is it is this it? How to know? Still, I admire your courage. Perhaps your mission is the best way to achieve mine. So yes, Sarai, I'll join your cause with my own. And I'm wrong, it's my life on the line. As it should be. Now, what will it take to unite your people? My gratitude. Well, I have I do have one idea. Do I do a cutscene, or do I get to go to bed now? Cutscene. No. Since ancient times, many of our people have worshipped Naga. More precisely, we worship the Divine Dragon's Oracle, Lady Tiki. Though, most know her as the Voice. The Voice is trapped in her temple as Warheart's prisoner. But if she was freed, the Resistance could unite around her. Where is the Voice being held? There's a shrine built in the branches of the vine mineral trees. She's confined there. Good. We have our plan. Let's get to it. Sports here, we have a couple of new sports. Whoa, I almost dropped my 3DS. Now. I'm ready for today's training, Father. Listen. Before we begin, I have a question. What? Oh? No. It's something I've been meaning to ask for some time now. Once this war is over, will you be able to return to your own world? <laughs> I don't know. Even if it were possible to cross the bounds of time again, my world, my world itself may be lost. Naga said as much before we left. Good. I see. Yes. But don't worry, Father. Once peace is returned, I will lead you to your life. What? What? Why? But don't you see? I understand. I don't belong in this time. 
I'll not have myself become a burden. <laughs> Lucina, I never want to hear you say anything such again. Huh? Father. Listen to me. I've told you before, you are no burden. You could never be a burden. No. But... I fear I'm not very adept at putting these sorts of things in our words. It's clear you need to hear something, so listen up. What? Alright, I'm listening. Thank you. Lucina, I'm so very grateful for you. I'm grateful that you were born, and that you grew into such a fine and noble woman. I'm grateful you withstood terrible hardships and risked all you knew to come here. I haven't these words to express how much it means to me, and I'm to say thank you. Father. Father. Mm. You're my daughter and my friend. You will always have a place in my side. <laughs> Father, I f thank. Oh, Father. <laughs> it's alright, Noah Cena. We're there. It's alright. Daddy's here now. <laughs> okay. This is gonna be really, really bad, okay? And I am prepared for backlash if people actually watch this video. But. Okay. In Fire Emblem Warriors. I was playing that with Gavin for the first time when we played it. Um, that cutscene came up and it was fully voice acted and Lucina says would you rather I call you something else and Gavin just goes I'd rather you call me daddy and we just spent a solid five minutes laughing about that and that just him saying calling himself daddy to her made me laugh I'm sorry it's awful I know over DLC. I don't think I do. So, we'll go ahead and get ourselves up here. Ollie Davis liked two of my tweets in that time that I was talking there. Uh, both the ones I sent him about. That was a thing. So I can appreciate that. But with that, um, I'm just looking at what everyone got. Sully's a level away from me wanting to rank her up. I'm just looking at who is eligible for Master Seals that we actually use. Uh, Savara? Yeah, she's eligible for a Master Seal if it'll let her. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Arrow or a Bow Knight? We already have a bunch of archers. We don't have many people that use an axe, though. Let's make her a hero. I like the mercenary armor, but cosmetics aren't that big a deal when it comes to actually being strong. And I've actually enjoyed using Sabara. I like her kind of sassy attitude towards everything. Makes me laugh. She looks cool now, too. I like that. It just flex the hair. Sorry to disappoint, but it's the same me inside. Oh boy. How will I ever survive? Morgan is great, so. Yeah, I can't master so you yet. I need to use those uh, increase stuff items, so let me see what I have. So we have Naga's Tear, which is max HP and all her stats. Resistance, defense, luck, speed, skill, magic, strength, max HP. We're going to use that on like our main 12, I think. So for Morgan, we're going to go with... She really needs it, we're going to go for luck. Lucina. Hmm. Well, I'm small as well, tempting to use at some point. One of those on Lucina. And we're going to raise her, her strength as well. Me. I want to raise my... My resistance... Uh, speed.
We already messed with Lucina. Uh, Krom. Uh, I should have saved that for someone who has multiple weapons they can use, actually. It's Krom Strength. Um, same for someone on the team who doesn't have everything mastered yet. Lissa. We'll go for Lissa with that one. There we go. Cordelia, what do you have? Raise your defense, because you get taken out. Farja, I'll share one of the magic ones with you. Want to make Frederick more of a tank than he already is? Let's go for it. There we go. Alright, cool. So with that, thank you all for watching this episode of Fire Emblem Awakening. If you liked the video, leave me a like. I broke almost 21 hours in this game now. It's only been two weeks since I started recording. Like the video, leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what you think of the series so far. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. It's pretty easy to let us know. I'll see you all tomorrow for more Fire Emblem. Fander out.